Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm Sushi Mushi, and today I'm going to bring you guys 5G effects cheat codes I think everybody should know about. Before I get into it though, I do want to say thank you guys so much for 2k subs. That's crazy. I never thought I would say that, but thank you so much. And I do want to bring more content for you guys. Hopefully I can do that this summer. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, this first cheat code is directed towards beginners. Once you're in Photoshop, go to the bottom right side of your screen and click this little half white, half black circle. And that'll be your adjustment tab or adjustment layers. Now you've probably used brightness and contrast or the hue and saturation before, but you gotta take a look at everything else. My favorites are the black and white photo filter and color lookup. Those are gonna make a huge difference in your GFX and can take it from a five to a 10. Now, for example, right over here, I have two color lookups and they both make a huge difference. Watch this, once I take it off, Boom, that's horrible. Now, of course, it's because my editing is also a mess, but if you also have messy editing like me, that can be really helpful to even out the colors and it can make things pop out really well. Now, also up here, I have the black and white filter as well. And if I turn that off, you can see everything is very like blended together a little too much. But right here, when you turn it back on, it contrasts very well and makes certain things pop out more. Most beginners don't know about this and it makes their GFX look very bland and flat. But once you use these filters, it makes a huge difference. But it's not just about adding the filter because if I were to add the black and white filter, it would simply look like this. You don't want all black GFX. You want to make it overlay mode, mess with the opacity, mess with the coloring a bit. Now the same goes for color lookups. Once you add one, click load 3D LUT, and then you have to pick a certain filter you want to use. My favorites are the three strip, the Kodaks, and some of the Fuji ones. Of course, once again, you want to mess with the opacity a bit and these little filters. My next cheat code to you all is flaticon.com. This website has millions of free vectors that you can use and they really improve your text. For example, in this GFX, I added two flames. The flames really do add a nice touch to it and though I'm not amazing at making text, I think it does help a lot. You can start small like me and then eventually make your way up. So once you're on the website, you can search up literally anything you want. For example, cake. There you go, tons of cakes. Or you can stitch up, I don't know, like elephant. And there you go, a ton of cute elephants. Adding vectors on your text can really make it cool. I'm not the best example, but there are others who do really good jobs. My next cheat code to you all is the importance of using the correct font. In your graphic, you want the text to match with everything else, not only the color scheme, but also the font. For example, in this one, it's a nice and bold font. Now, for example, a font like this would look really bad with the GFX because it's so bubbly and doesn't really match with the theme. Here's another example. This one is more like cutesy, aesthetic, blah, blah, blah. But once again, the rest of the graphic is more hardcore and bold. This versus this, it doesn't blend well. It's like water and oil. It, it doesn't match. I think your text and your font make a huge difference in your GFX because it adds more personality. Okay, cheat code number four. Beginners, please take note of this. Make your render match with the rest of the GFX. The render's outfit, the hair, the accessories, everything on it should not look random and it shouldn't have a totally different style than everything else you're going for in the GFX. If you look at this GFX, the render matches well with the background. The colors go well together. The like grunge style matches with the intensity of the background and the FX. Okay, here you can see I got a random render and it's really pink, aesthetic, pastel, and like calm. It would not go out with the GFX like this. And it's not only that, but you don't want like a character wearing beach attire in a GFX like this because it doesn't match. Another example is you don't want it wearing Christmas clothes when it's like a Halloween GFX, right? It doesn't make sense. Now, my final cheat code, I'm gonna get some hate for this because everyone disagrees with me, but just add a whole lot of nothing on your GFX. It makes a big difference. Now, what I mean by that is I just make a ton of layers. I add random brushes in certain parts of the GFX. I mess with liquifies, blah, 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 blah. As you add on, there's less blank space and it makes it more busy and cool looking. That's my opinion. It's better than adding like 500 liquifies and then some paint splatter. You want to use different types of brushes and different types of effects and just like find a way to mix it all together. It definitely takes time to make it look not ugly, but still, that's what I do to fill up my GFX because I never know how to start or finish, especially start. Anyways, those are my five GFX cheat codes I think could be really helpful, especially for beginners, because 
it's just the small things that make a big difference. I'm gonna try to make more videos for you guys soon, maybe some speed arts, I'm not sure yet, but there will be more content. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed, if you found it helpful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, comment down below more video ideas, join my discord server, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.